Now, he was considered a charismatic freedom fighter, one who the British government was keen on silencing. And according to his family, Kirenyaga born General Shui Wamararo was shot to death alongside three other generals, then burnt in broad daylight for at least one month. His wife was in detention and only brought out to witness the remainder of her husband's burnt remains. Today, despite being part of the family with a decorated father, she is living in a tough spot since she lives here in Kirenyaga County on the disputed Mwea settlement scheme and fears remaining homeless. Her smile is authentic, warm, especially coming from a burning past. Gladys Wainoi lived through Kenya's fight for independence. Her late husband was a celebrated freedom fighter, General Shoi Wamararo, who was born Kibara Wamararo in Kerenyaga County. His death was a tough one. He was one of the key individuals who opposed the British rule. This led to a manhunt on him and detention for his wife, Gladys. Shoi was a wanted man. Then another Kenyan man identified as Ngege, accused of working with the British, allegedly passed word that the colonial government would reward whoever would capture and kill Shui. One of his friends got the message and was captured by greed. He used to take food to Shui while he was in his hideout. He betrayed him and reportedly told the government where Shui was hiding. When Shoi was being looked for, the government had imposed a curfew and had Kenyans being followed closely by police even when going to the river, for instance. They add that when he died, the curfew was immediately lifted. But it was another tough phase for the family. For the late general's children, it was a case of a void and seemingly intangible promises and hopes. <laughs> When Gladys had returned from detention, she was quite unfortunate. Having only gotten land from a well-wisher, she ran into another problem, as the land she lives on has been at the center of the Moya settlement land tussle. 